I'm Erin and I have a really fun video I want to share with you today. So over the past couple of years, Pez has been releasing Pez mascot Pez dispensers. And if you're not sure what a mascot is, think of it as like Tony the Tiger for Frosted Flakes or Mickey Mouse for Disney World or the Kool-Aid Man for Kool-Aid. It's usually a fictional character that represents your company that's easily to identify. So Pez has came out with the Pez mascot and their Pez mascot is a little brick. <laughs> it's a Pez brick. So that's pretty cute. I want to share with you all the Pez mascots that Pez has released over the past two years. And the one I'm going to start with I do not actually have in my collection. And it's from 2019. Every year there's a Sweets and Snacks Expo held in Chicago. And Pez has a booth there. It's pretty cool. So like around the time of the Sweets and Snacks Expo, I usually get on social media like Instagram or just Google. Someone's usually covering the booth of Pez and that's where they debut some of their Pez that they're going to be releasing over the next year, which I think is pretty fun because you get to actually see the dispensers in real life. They're not just prototype drawings that you see online. I'll put a picture here on the screen, but the Pez mascot that was released at the 2019 Sweets and Snacks Expo, it has a yellow head and then it has a blue stem. And then printed on the stem, it says NCA 2019 which is pretty nice. Now these dispensers are a little bit harder to find. You can find them on eBay or from Pez collectors to buy, but they cost a lot more because they are so limited. And when I say limited, Pez only released 1,000 of these dispensers, which makes it really hard to find because, you know, not everyone going to the Sweets and Snack Expo is a Pez collector. They're just, you know, they're candy dealers. You can't just attend the Sweets and Snacks Expo. You have to be like a candy dealer, you know, in the candy industry to go. Which makes it a lot harder because then people are getting these pest dispensers, you know, and they're not collectors. So, you know, they're giving them away, they're throwing them away or whatever. So they're going to be a lot harder to find. So there was only a thousand made, but who knows how many are actually circulating like out there in the collector world. But I did see one for sale online for $150, which that'll give you an idea of how limited it is. Soon after that Sweets and Snacks Expo in 2019, Pez released on their website the Strawberry Pez. And here I have this one. It's pretty cute. So this one has a pink head and a green stem. On the package here it says Pez Exclusive Product, which is pretty nice. And I don't think that they ever told us how many that they made of these. But they sold them online, and I, if I can remember right, I think they sold out pretty quick. But I was looking on eBay, and you can currently find this dispenser for around $20. So if you want to add this to your collection, it is one that you can easily find. And I do have this one open as well. So this is the same one, the Strawberry Pez. So you can take a closer look there. It's really cute. <laughs> And then in 2019, Pez also released the yellow Pez mascot. And I have this one here as well. So it's just the same dispenser, but it has a yellow head and a blue stem, which this one's really nice. This one reminds me of if you're going to buy a Pez at the store. This just screams Pez, like the same blue and the yellow color of the branding, I think, which is really nice. I also have the yellow mascot open so you can take a closer look at it. So I guess Pez was doing well selling these Pez mascots, so they kept making them on into 2020. And they started off with these Oktoberfest Pez. And this one is Resi. It says limited edition here on the card. It's really cute. And then also there's Hans. Not to be confused with Han Solo. This is just Hans. <laughs> And it also says limited edition here on the card. So these are pretty nice. So around the same time as Pez USA released these two Oktoberfest mascots, Pez International released their own versions. And it's the exact same dispenser. I'll put a picture here on the screen so you can look at them. But the only difference is the card variation. And on the Pez International cards, you'll see that it has the blue and white diamond design and then it shows their little clothes on it as well. So it's the exact same dispenser, it's just a different card, which that happens a lot when, you know, Pez USA and Pez International team up 
and they put out the same dispensers. I guess they have to package it with their own candy, so they end up having different card designs. Which just gives us collectors more to collect. <laughs> but I do not have the Pez International version of that card, but now I think I do need to look for it because I do really like the graphics on it. And then next up, Pez came out with the orange Pez mascot. So the orange Pez mascot comes with the orange head and the yellow stem. Same card as the yellow and the strawberry Pez. So this orange one and the yellow and the strawberry Pez, those were a lot easier to find and buy on Pez.com. If I remember right, they didn't sell it right away and it wasn't a super limited run, which you'll see coming up here. Some of these are super limited. So these were easier to find. That's why I have one open and I have one on card. You can take a closer look. Here's one off the card. It's really cute. <laughs> And then as I was researching for this video, I thought I had all of like the basic Pez mascots that you could find, but I am missing the Pez mascot mystery flavor Pez. I can't even believe that I didn't even realize that I didn't have it. I don't know what I was even thinking. I thought I had them all. I usually keep them in like this little box down by my Pez display because I don't want the cards to get messed up. I don't look through them a whole lot. so. I don't know. I thought I had them all, but I'm missing this one. But I'll put a picture here on the screen. As I said, it's the Pez Mascot Mystery Flavor Pez. And Pez only made a thousand of these, so it made it sell out a lot faster. Where was I at? <laughs> like, I want to go back, I think it was sometime in May of 2020 when Pez released this, and I want to go, Aaron, Aaron, you know, get online and, and buy this Pez because what was I, what was I doing? <laughs> I don't know. After I publish this video, I might go on eBay or check around with some of my Pez dealer friends and you know, say, hey, do you have this Pez for sale? Because I need it. <laughs> but also in the same year, 2020, there was another Sweets and Snacks Expo. So it happens every year. So Pez came out with the same Pez dispenser as the one I just showed. Here's a picture of the Sweets and Snacks Expo Pez. It's the same one, so it has the white head and the blue stem. And then printed on the stem, it says NCA. 2020 so that's the only way you can tell the difference between just the regular mystery mascot pez and the sweets and snacks expo mystery mascot pez but the expo one is really really hard to come by because in 2020 you know there was a whole pandemic going on especially that's like when it hit like right before the sweets and snacks expo was supposed to happen that expo dispenser is really hard to find and i think they only made a thousand of them as well and since I didn't hand them out at the expo like they were supposed to, you know, who knows who owns and has them right now. So they're really hard to find. So I need to go and look for that one as well because it is a really nice looking dispenser and I want to add it to my collection. So that was all of the 2020 Pez mascots. And of course Pez doesn't stop there. So in 2021 Pez came out with the cherry mascot dispenser. And I have that one here. It's got the little red head and a little light pink stem. It's really cute. <laughs> so again, it has the same card as the strawberry, the yellow, and the orange. Just as the cherry mascot. Nothing too crazy different. Oh, and I don't think I pointed out that when you get the cherry Pez, you get three packs of cherry candy. And then when you get the orange one, you get three orange packs of candy and so on. So the, the yellow one comes with the lemon candy and then the strawberry comes with three packs of strawberry candy. So that's kind of fun. But you wouldn't know that if you opened them. So I highly recommend to keep them on card. I just think that these limited edition Pez should stay on their cards. Just because of like the design and it really shows I think that Pez is putting that extra effort in for the collectors. And I really like that. And then next up, one of the other Pez that I thought I had and I just recently bought it from somebody in one of my Facebook groups is the Pez mascot in grape. And this one's really nice. So when Pez released this grape mascot, they also limited the amount of these mascots that you could buy at once. So you can only buy six of them at a time, which I think before they didn't have any limits on them. So they're starting to go, oh, people are buying these and selling them and people aren't able to get them. So I recently just bought this. I think it was $25 I spent on it, which isn't too bad. I mean, these, when they were for sale the first time around on Pez.com, their retail value, I think, was $4.99. So people are marking them up quite a bit. 
but if you need them in your collection, it might be worth buying them. And I think dispensers like these, you know, if you do buy them now, they'll keep their value or they might go up a little bit. So these are good dispensers, I think, to buy and add to your collection, especially if you're a newer collector and you want to buy something, you know, that's not just gonna sit at a dollar or 50 cents or go down because they just mass produce them. If you're wanting to add Pez to your collection, they're gonna hold their value, maybe go up, and these Pez mascots might be a good addition. Next up, there's the Pez mascot dragon fruit. This one's really cool. So here's a closer look at the Pez mascot dragon fruit. This one came out in 2021 as well. And Pez only released 3,000 of these dragon fruit Pez dispensers, which is a pretty low run as well. But the cool part about this dragon fruit mascot dispenser is that in 2021, in the fall, Pez, they were going to release the Game of Thrones gift tin set. And it comes with the dragon fruit Pez. I mean, everybody knows why, if you've watched Game of Thrones, why, you know, dragons are popular. I won't spoil it for you if you don't watch it. They put this one out early, which is cool. And then there's the dragon fruit Pez in there as well. So if you're looking to try some different candy, this is a good one to buy. Or if you're, you know, not wanting to open this, you can buy the Game of Thrones box set and try the same candy. And also Pez International, I'll put a picture here on the screen. They came out with their own version of this dragon fruit mascot. And the dispenser for the Pez International and the Pez USA one, they're exactly the same. The only difference, again, is the card variation. And the Pez International one it has little fruits on the card and it says Sweet Summer Vibes, which is pretty cute. And I don't have that one in my collection, but maybe I should add that one as well. It's just really hard to get these. And then, you know, if you live in the United States, you can't just easily go and buy Pez from Pez International. You can't buy stuff on their website and, peop and vice versa. People over in Europe and Asia can't buy stuff on the Pez USA website. So it makes it hard. So you have to go find someone that's selling it, which they're going to mark it up and you're going to pay more for it. Next up is the Pez mascot candy corn. <laughs> This one's super cute. I love the coloring of the candy corn. So it looks a lot like a candy corn and then it's on a black stem. On the side it says limited edition. It has little candy corn graphics. It's just really nice. And this one, this one comes with the candy corn candy, which if you haven't tried that, that's a flavor that's fun to try. And I think usually the Halloween candy comes with candy corn, so you don't have to open this one if you don't want. At least you'll know that it that the candy corn Pez exists in case you didn't know. And then Pez got really wise by this point and they said that you can only buy two of these Pez per person, I think per household even. And they'll go through all the sales on their site and they'll cancel them if they notice that you've bought more than two. Which I think that helps so that everyone can get them so that's fine with me. But you know it just took a while for them to figure that out I think. And I did notice that if you were going to look for this candy corn mascot online to buy, like currently at the time of this video, they're selling for $50 on eBay. That's quite a lot more than, you know, $4.99 the dispenser. There's only a couple more mascots left and at the end of 2021, for 2022, Pez released the New Year's Pez for 2022 and it just happened to be the Pez mascot. And it's so cool. I love the black and the gold. So the head's gold and then the stem's black. But the stem has fireworks printed on it and it says 2022 on it as well. On the side here it says Happy New Year. Only 2022 made limited edition because this is the Pez USA version and it has this card but i'll put a picture here on the screen so you can see the pez international version of this so th again the dispenser is the exact same but the card is different the card you know you'll see here it's black and gold but the cool part about it is the pez international one comes with gold wrapped candy you know kind of like the money heist dispensers that that they sell as well so i think that's pretty cool i kind of wish that you know, the Pez USA would have went with that same theme and made some gold wrap candy, but they didn't. And this one just has some regular flavors. I really like this black and gold color combo. It doesn't look anything like what a Pez mascot I think would look like, <laughs> but I think it's really nice. I'm all about black and gold, so this one just screams Aaron. <laughs> 
And then I have a box here that I just got in the mail today. I've been waiting for it to come. It's been, I don't know, over a week since I ordered it. Seems like it took a long time. But that's because Super excited to get this. Oh, what's awesome. I was wondering how this was actually gonna look in real life. I like it. So this is the new Pez mascot Raspberry. On the Pez website, it looks more like lighter pink, but the head is more of a darker pink. I'll show you a comparison here. So here's the Cherry Pez and it's real light. And then here's the Raspberry one of a dark, it's a darker pink like it. It almost kind of looks like a, a piece of... <laughs> it almost it almost looks kind of like a piece of bubble gum. It's nice. So this is a good addition I think. But after getting this I just can't wait to see what other Pez mascots Pez is gonna put out. And I know some people might think this is really boring and lame just have different color variations but I just get hooked on like color variations of things. Like I play Pokemon Go and there's shiny Pokemon. And you know, whenever there's a community day, I always have to play and get the shiny Pokemon or go shiny hunting. So it's the same thing with these Pez. So these are all the Pez mascot dispensers that have been released over the past couple years. And I can't wait for Pez to put out new ones. Comment below if you have any suggestions on what Pez should make. I think Pez should use some metallic paint and make a mascot or maybe some crystal heads or something or a crystal stem would be really cool. Just something different than I think just the different colors. But comment below if you have any ideas on what you would like to see or if there's any color variations that you'd like to see. It's always fun to hear other people's ideas. So if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button or give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my Pez collection, I'm always posting more on my Instagram or my TikTok. I'm Erin Collects Pez on both of those. So give me a follow. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nowhere.